Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we're doing the recording of 11th of September. Call me blessing. I'm back in Delhi for a few days. So, without my stand and other things, holding my phone over here. So, don't mind that. It's going to move a little bit like this and like this. But never mind. You are here to listen to this beautiful blessing and take it and absorb it. Absorb it. So, Supreme Father wants us to become an accurate yogi. And He wants us to face the tufans or the storms of life. And turn them into tofas or gifts. And let's understand what exactly does that mean over here. So God says, may you be an accurate yogi and make storms, in bracket tufans, into gifts, in bracket tufa, with your controlling power. So Supreme Father says that an accurate and a true yogi is one who is able to connect his intellect to whatever he wants, whenever he wants, in a second. So if you want to stabilize your mind at something, at a task, but you're, you're thinking of thoughts of why that person did this to me, or why is that person not yet here, what am I going to do with this person, this person is so lazy, I've told this person so many times, why doesn't he or she do this task on time, and when we're complaining, blaming, criticizing, that's the time all our energies are going towards that soul, or towards that person, and that's the time we feel that there's complete too fun, or there's some kind of storm in our life and we are the creator of that storm actually we are the ones who are creating it on a daily basis so God wants us to remove these tufans remove the tufan or remove this barricade which we are creating in our life of criticism, complain, blame game and make it easy make it plain and simple for us to be successful in any task then God says the situation may be up of upheaval. The atmosphere may be tamugani. That means the situation could be an upheaval situation where somebody might have brought some kind of bad luck or let's say bad kind of omen financially, mentally, emotionally, physically and in real relationships. That could be a situation, right? So God says the atmosphere may be tamukani. That means the whole atmosphere of your house, whole atmosphere of your office, whole atmosphere of your workplace because of this one person could be tamukani. Tamukani means totally negative. People are complaining, people are blaming, people are criticizing that person. Nobody is focused on the work, nobody is focused on the progress and everybody is just complaining and blaming and everybody's focus is going on to one negative energy. And God says, maybe Tamogani and Maya may try to make you belong to her. That means some kind of negative issue, some kind of negative point in your life can come. You might be thinking of your task, but you're not able to concentrate because you are feeling and you're complaining, you're blaming and you're criticizing and you're thinking about why that thing happened. If this wouldn't have happened, that wouldn't have happened. If that person wouldn't have said something like this, this wouldn't have happened. So if you are thinking, thoughts of greed or jealousy or hatred or any kind of negative, any form of negative issue is going on in your mind which is not letting you focus, then again you are not in control of your own mind and you are not in control of your own thoughts and that also brings you down by the way. So then God says, however, even then to be able to concentrate in a second, that means I remove that power which is going to that person or that object or thing or the situation and I tell myself right now right here enough is enough all my powers I want it back I want my energies back to me I don't want any of the leakages going to anybody no blaming no criticizing no complaining no finding faults because that is energy being given to somebody else I want my concentration right now over here I want to be concentrated so that I can concentrate on the things which I've come here to do as simple as that now God says then, however, even then, to be able to concentrate in a second is to use the power of remembrance. Remembering the spiritual knowledge, remembering the infinite being, the infinite source, and stopping ourselves from finding happiness or contentment when a task is done, when we reach, uh, when we reach the end of a task, or when we reach some kind of achievement in life, and we say because of these things achievements or the, this task, if this would have happened in time, I would have been happy. God says no. You remember me and you take happiness from me. You take the infinite energy from me, you take the infinite happiness from me and you stop complaining, stop blaming, stop criticizing. These three things have to stop. Then the situation, the atmosphere 
and the people around you are going to be in sync with you then he says no matter how much of a storm of waste thoughts they may be why when who what why not these are all waste thoughts so they may be let the storm become a gift to move forward in a second let there be this much controlling power such powerful souls would never have the thought i didn't want it to happen but it happened i didn't want to react that way but i ended up saying something like this that person was very important for the company that person was very important for my business now what do i do because of this one single mistake i ended up pushing that person out i pushed that relationship out i did something i said something to the husband said something to the wife and the relationship is now better so that is not known as controlling power that doesn't mean that you have got control over your own emotions so in brahma kumaris we are learning the method of removing the criticism removing the blame removing the fault finding removing the impure habits of putting your energies onto somebody else or giving away your power to somebody else and then sulking in simple terms blaming criticizing complaining is sulking and if you are a sulking personality nobody will like to be around you people might be able to help you out guide you in certain ways but you will be a sulking and a complaining and a blaming person and nobody wants to be around that kind of person what do you want to become do you want to become somebody who is cheerful somebody who is always yeah, putting people ahead or making people go ahead in life and improving and pushing people to reach their unlimited limitless limitness or you are somebody who is trying to limit them by complaining them blaming them criticizing about them that's your choice now how do you do that how do you change from this negative kind of act or attitude or behavior to this kind of positive kind of act attitude and behavior where you stop complaining stop criticizing stop blaming and you change the atmosphere of your place of your house of your children of your family members of your relationships and you change the atmosphere in your business place for your financial growth for your mental peace and happiness see financially you might be growing but if your relationships are pulling you down what can i say anything out of these finances relationships health your mental emotional state any of these things if they getting pulled down that means you are lacking one thing which is this a little finger no it is your spiritual essence that means you are not able to guide your mind and emotion spiritually so as to have balance in your life you can attain that balance it's very easy it's being taught at brahma kumaris you too can go and learn that with the sumshanti